So I just wanted to let you see how this works um, since I can't talk to you in person. Um, there are a few things that you should know if you've never used a high power telescope. First of all, um, although the front looks like this is where you're gonna see out of it, that's not actually where you see out of it. This is the back of the mirror, which is, um, the mirror is where you, where you look out of things. And so up here in this hollow area, that is the lens. Uh, this is a lens cap. You just take off the cap and um, whatever you're looking for, if you're looking for, you know, a certain star or a constellation or whatnot, um, you want to find it in the viewfinder first. And um, once you have it in view, then ideally, if it's not too small, um, you should be able to look through the lens this way um, and see it. So whatever you're, whatever you're looking at, this part needs to be pointing towards. Um, it does have two different lenses. So this one is if you want to see things that are a little closer so you don't have to, it's not, it's not going to be as strong. This one is for farther away, so if you need to see something that's really far off or very small in the sky. Um, they, uh, you, they both have recently been cleaned, but if you're going to clean them, you need to have something that's anti-static, kind of a lens cleaner specifically. It doesn't have to be a telescope lens cleaner, um, but you know the kind of cloth that you use to clean glasses, things like that. Um, I also did just recently clean the mirror, um, which you can look up on YouTube ways to do that, but, um, but that shouldn't need to be done for a long time because I just did, did that recently. Um, the, to adjust the height, um, you just basically pull up, you gotta um, loosen the legs here and just pull them up one by one. Um, sorry. And so they go, they go out pretty far and you can get them up pretty high. Um, that's the same process for all of them. And obviously once they're out as far as you want, you just tighten it back up. Um, and this is really helpful. For example, if you need to, if this isn't shooting up as high as you want it to into the sky, um, you can, for example, use one of them to help prop it up a little bit higher. Um, but obviously you want to always be um, helping to support your telescope so that it doesn't fall in the process. Um, so if you need to go up a little higher, that can be done this way, um, for example, like this. Um, what other things should I tell you? So that it can also be adjusted, um, not just from the legs, uh, but also here on the actual neck itself. Um, you just loosen this knob back here and that helps you tilt um, back and forth. If you're trying to hold something still at a certain angle, um, this, these weights will help you do that. Um, you can pull the weights out um, and move them on this bar, pull them up. Um, so if, you, if you're wanting something to stay precisely at a certain angle, um, those, adjusting those accordingly can help. Um, there is a level right here on, on the uh, unit itself and that helps you to make sure that everything is stabilized before you know, setting up. Um, one thing to note about this high power telescope is that you won't be able to see you know, uh, a lot of things. That, I mean, you will be able to see a lot of things that you wouldn't, wouldn't be able to see with a lower power telescope, but because they're so far away, you, it will take a lot more time to set up um, a viewing. So, You'll want to just be patient. Um, any nudge when you're looking out into the vast sky is going to throw you off a lot whenever you're setting up your telescope. So 
Um, you'll just want to uh, make sure to keep things as still as possible. I really don't recommend this for a child. Um, it, it is more for adult or teenage use. Um, and then to focus it, once you've gotten whatever you have in view, you just basically pull this in or out. Um, so yeah, that's, that's everything that you should be able to, if you have any questions, just let me know and um, I'd be happy to help answer them.